The purpose of this exercise is to explore creating the dormers and also the ga uh, split gables at the end of the dormer as displayed in this particular roof shape here. The way we create this is to uh, first of all create the basic roof geometry and we use our construct roof track outline function to track the perimeter of the roof and uh, using the numbers provided by our drawing when you're um, inserting these dimensions you can actually use M for meters for those in uh, working in metric land in feet and inches, you just use feet and inches. Close square to close out and uh, check that the final dimension matches the plan and it does. So then we select finish and uh, indicate the roof pitch overhang zero, E fight, yes that'll work. Okay and then we select the ends which will become gable ends. And yes and continue. So the roof shape is constructed and now we can work in the isometric view if you want to at any time after the roof has been created. Now we're going to add our dormer working from the left hand end, uh, 7 metres along, yes that matches the plan, width of the dormer 10 metres, offset from the edge 0, everything else is 0, preview that and uh, yes that looks correct and we get insert and the dormer goes in and the roof shape is modified to suit. So uh, we're almost there. The next uh, step, the bit that adds the uh, uh, gables on the dormer, uh, is the function we call modify roof split gable. Remember to read the prompts. It says select the ridge line. And the the dialog box is um, uh, relating to the the user standing outside the roof, looking up at the roof. So the fixed side will be uh, say left. Um, the fixed side for the side for the new ridge will be left. Offset three meters, uh, depth two meters. Yes, that'll work. We go OK, and it goes in. So you can see how that is offset everything to the left. We do the same thing on the other side to create the other shape. Simply make those to the right. We go OK, and there we have it. So uh, what uh, on on the, at the start of it looks like a difficult shape to uh, create. In fact, it's quite simple. So practice that uh, using the tools, replay the video as many times as you want and uh, hopefully this will help you for future projects that are similar in shape to this one. Thanks for dropping by and we look forward to seeing you on one of our other tutorials. Bye for now.